All right, today we're here at Crybaby Performance and we're gonna do timing and uh, I wanna lay out what you need to do it. You need a degree wheel. The bigger the wheel, the better, because you can read the marks better. You'll see that later. You need a little tachometer. You need a battery oper operated timing light. Flaming River makes this one. Always make sure you have brand new batteries in it. And then we have our DeWalt drill. This is the drill that USAC calls out in their uh, spec manual. And then you need a tube stop, and then you need a standard spark plug. Piston stop. Piston stop. And uh, so let's get to town. Go to town, and uh, first step is to take the side cover off. This video can be a little longer, There's a lot of steps in this, but once you do it a few times, it's pretty easy. This is a Honda 120 UT3. So the timing is 17 degrees, or as we debated last night, 17.5. 17 is the official number. So next here, we're gonna take the bolt off the, um, the throttle linkage so that we can put our wire on it. These engines do not have a timing mark on them, so you have to establish a timing mark with the, uh, with the wire. Your automobile already has a timing mark on it. That's what makes it really easy. These ones, you gotta put the wire on there and then you gotta find top dead center, which on every big car motor already has that established. So we have our coat hanger piece of wire on there now. And we're taking the um, spark plug out. We still need to ground the spark plug to the motor. Now some of these plugs are worth a little more in timing, so you always want to make sure you use a stock uh, strap style plug when you're doing timing. That's the only correct way to get it. So now we uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna ground that out right to the side of the engine block. And then we're gonna hook our tack up. wire is now installed for our little digital tack. You have to have a tack because you got to run this over 1200. And now we're going to hook the timing light up. The timing light has a directional arrow. The arrow is super important. You got to make sure it's facing the right direction. That is the direction the arrow flows. Also make sure to keep your wires away from your timing wheel so they don't get sucked up into your, your workspace. Next, we're taking the nut off. You have to remove the uh, washer and the fan. Notice the green magnet on the flywheel. And that is our starting position. So with that magnet over the coil, um, that will give us pretty close to top dead center and we'll have to adjust from there. So always start right at that point. So um, all these UT3s have a green magnet. If you don't have a green magnet, that's not the correct flywheel. DQ. DQ, right there. Green magnet, UT3, super important. Okay, degree wheel is going on. And then we're gonna fasten it. Now this is not top dead center, but it will be kind of close or in the range top dead center. So now we got to tighten this wheel on here. Anybody that says, oh, you took my nut off and, and my flywheel moved and that's because that's now my timing's off and you guys caused that. No way. No way. That's a tapered shaft. And um, once you tighten it on there, it's not coming off until you, uh, we can show you how to take that off in another video. So now we got our piston stop in the hole. What the piston stop does 
is it allows us to go back and forth and average the numbers to find top dead center. So right there, it's coming up at, uh, let's see, what is that, 21, two and a half? 22. 22. Okay, 22 on the one side. So we're gonna mark it with a marker. Mark it all the way down so they can see it. There you go. Okay, now we're gonna turn it 180 degrees. And we're gonna see where it stops. Stopped right. at 31. Stops at 31. So you wanna be halfway between 22 and 31. So you have to do a little math here. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, plus two, plus your one. That's 53. So half of 53 26 and a half. is 26 and a half. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26 and a half. But you have to add this one that we're back this way. So 27 and a half. Six, seven, half. Okay, that's technically your new zero. That's your top dead center, your new zero. Mark a zero on there, James. No, because we're gonna bend this. Okay. One, two degrees. So we're gonna split the difference and bend the wire two degrees. Okay, now we got our wire bent in place. Not used to doing this this slow. Right, I know it normally goes a heck of a lot faster, but when you're explaining it. So now he's gonna wipe those all those marks off because we know where it is now. Twenty-eight on that side. Twenty-eight on the one side. And it's at twenty-five, twenty-six. So we're one degree off because we should be at twenty-eight. So we're gonna adjust that one degree. Now we're at twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Now we're gonna go back here. Yep, and you're at 27. And we're Perfect. at 27. So if you take 27 here and 27 here, we've just adjusted 27 and 27. The middle is zero. Okay, now make sure you take your piston stop out. You don't want to turn the motor over with the piston stop in. It won't get very far. You gotta make sure the spark plug is grounded. Yep, make sure the spark plug is grounded on the engine. Now the drill's gonna have a little bit of a kick. You wanna make sure you get this DeWalt drill because th these bigger drills are the only ones that'll spin at 1,200 to 2,000. So it has a little kick, so.
lost 18. So now that's where you get the inconsistency in the USAC rule. What is it? Is it 12 or 2,000? So now in Hokie Tech, they go, you're DQ'd. We ran your motor at 2,000 and it was over. It was at 18, you're DQ'd. If they run it at 1,200, you're not DQ'd. So that's how Hokie Tech goes when you don't know where your engine's at. 1200 RPM, an engine is naturally, the faster you spin it, the more timing it's going to, or the more it's going to advance, okay? The spark is hotter the faster you turn the engine. So when you're turning this engine at 6,000 RPM, it's probably not at 17 degrees anymore. It's probably more like 21, 22 degrees. What do they come from the factory at? 20. I thought these were 25. Oh, it could be 25. All right. It could be 25. Okay, so again, um, if the tech director doesn't like you, you're DQ'd. If you're okay with the tech director and he's good with you, you're not DQ'd. Why is the rule written that way? They could easily fix that and put 1,200. They could put 1,300. They could put 1,400. The range allows a degree of error. The spark plug allows 0.25 degrees of error. Furthermore, okay, we just did this with a big degree wheel because it's easy to read. Okay, here you go. Now read it. We're going to put the small one on. You'll be out. Right, when you put that small wheel on, you'll be out. And then the thickness of our coat hanger and it flopping around a little bit and vibrating. So good luck if they don't like you because you're- At 1200, that coat hanger, I just want to comment on this because people will say, oh, you got to use a thicker wire. No, you don't. That wire is not moving. tell me that 1200 to 2000 doesn't matter. I just proved it. It matters. It advances itself. All right, this concludes this video, but we're going to keep on uh, rolling here into our next video. Or if we're not, we're done. <laughs>